WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside, 2% plus or more. Uh, you've got the Dow off 2.2%, uh, 767 points. The S&P 99 points, 2 and a quarter percent. The NDX 100, 2 and 6 tenths percent, 397 points. Russell's off 3 and a quarter percent. That's down 72. The semis off 3 and 3 third three and a third percent uh, down uh, 113 points you've got the spot volatile which is up 30 percent right now so uh, the, you know as long as there's one day rate of change above plus 10 percent you're gonna have to anticipate you don't have to but you should anticipate a um at least a, a bounce a reasonable size uh, bounce uh I'm not saying that's begun now. In fact, let's go take a look at our market update charts out here. We'll begin by taking a look at the ES Mini upper left-hand side. Now, there's a level of support that the ES Mini should target. It is the bottom of its profile. Currently, we're trading at 43.23. The bottom of the weekly profile is 43.12. So during the Trader's Edge show, we'll certainly go take a look at the intraday charts, see if there's anything lining up there to give us some type of signal of a bounce. But that's the support level inside the ES Mini, 43.12. No guarantee that it holds, but that is the support area. And it's coming at a time where we've got a 30% one-day rate of change for the spot volatilnix. And you know, those of you that are listeners for a long time, you'll see the spot volatilnix trading out at 26.99, well above the 50-day exponential moving average. But again, that one-day rate of change typically results in some type of overnight or morning uh, bounce or bottom inside the S&P 500. The NQ, she's targeting the bottom of her weekly profile, and that's at the 14.802 level. U.S. dollar index, that's in the middle on the left-hand side. It's made the 1 to 1A to B equals CD pattern. Should it form a uh, bearish reversal candle that would signal some type of at least sell the D point, some type of short-term top with price, pulling back at least to 92.90. Goldilocks out here has a key reversal session. Now, a key reversal session requires that a market be extended. Gold is. Uh, you need to have a uh, uh, the prior day's high and low exceeded. It has. And you need to see it close one tick higher than the open. So what you're watching for, that means that what gold needs to do to generate that bullish reversal candle is close at 1752.01 in order to pull that off. Silver, not the same pattern out here. Silver right now is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile, suggesting that it wants lower price. Light free crude is at support. Natural gas, the same thing. You got to watch the uh, level of uh, $5.01. The price closes below that. Look at 479. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. If you're off to start your Monday, do me a favor. Have a magical one. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon.